Hey guys, Ron here. Welcome back to another video. Um, so it's been quite a long time since the last video. I think it's been more than a month. Um, so yeah, today I just received the Track IR by Natural Point. Um, so I've been wishing to have this awesome piece of tech for quite some time now. And I finally managed to get it. So it just arrived today and I thought that, um, yeah, I could do a small unboxing. Because, um, yeah, it's been a long time since the last video and... Yeah, could do an unboxing and a quick review of this awesome piece of tech, which, um, for those who don't know, is a head tracking device. So basically, you put this on your monitor, and um, you have like a track clip pro. You can get the track clip or the track clip pro. The track clip pro. Um, it costs more for the track clip pro, and I got the the pro one. Um, so yeah, then we track it below, we, um, sends a signal to the receiver, and you can just, by simple head movement, you can, um, move in the game. Okay, so on the package here, you can see track IR by natural point. So, you can use it for driving, flight, and combat. I'm sure you can use it for much more stuff than that. So, just giving you a brief, um, intro. So, it's the number one selling simulation head tracker. Put your head in the game. Okay, so basically, put your head in the game, like, it's as if that you're in the game, because you're actually moving, and it's moving in the game, so your head is basically in the game. So put your head in the game, here you have some basic, um, basic information, so it's mercy, precise, essential, you've got six degrees of movement, you've got your left and right, pitch, up, down, roll, tilted angles, lean, left, right, raise, up, down, and zoom in and out, okay? Um, so on the side, um, it says the track IR is a revol revolutionary controller that effortlessly improves gameplay by tracking your head movements. Here we've got some reviews, here we've got what, it's, what it includes. Um, so you have the track IR, the track clip, the quick start guide and the DVD for the software. It says had suggested, not included for track clip um, placement. Okay. Here you got some of the games that it's compatible with. It's compatible with much, much more games than that. I am going to use it for FSX, P3D, and also, um, also trucking, like your truck and American truck. Okay, so we're basically ready to unbox it. So I'm just gonna unbox it here. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so let's just take this paper out, okay? So here we've got the um, infrared receiver, okay? It's at the top because that's the main thing. Um, you've got the quick start guide for the track clip pro, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna put this here. Um, you've got the actual track clip pro right here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got the actual track clip pro with the USB connector right here and uh, yeah the track clip and this i don't really know what that is i think it's something to clip the actual track clip oh i've got the track clip pro and the track clip i thought you only got the track clip pro but you also get the track clip that's really cool so i can use if i'm using a, a cap i can use the track clip if i'm using just a headphone i can use the track clip pro that's really cool um, and here I've got the um, track clip pro, sorry, um, the actual track IR um, cable, it's again USB. Um, here we've got the, um, some manuals and some download instructions, instructions sorry. So it's to actually um, tell you how to set it up and all hey guys, this stuff. So to put the infrared receiver on your monitor, you basically just take, um, Take the cable, put it into the USB, right here, okay? Then you just attach the cable on this this um, little hole down here. And you just basically just put it right here like that, okay? Um, so you must make sure that the infrared receiver is pointing directly towards you. So I will be sitting so like this. To put the um, track clip, I, I will use the track clip because I find that the track clip pro is too heavy. For my small headphone and um, yeah, track clip is just so easy. So to put it in, you just um, 
slide this bit in like this. Um, okay. Do same for the other bit. Mm. Kind of hard to do it with camera. Um, okay. So here you go. Now, once you have um, done the um, infrared receiver and also the track clip or the track clip pro, I prefer the track clip personally. Um, so once I've done this, you can now go to your PC. So um, to make it work, you need to download, wait, let me just close this. Okay. So you need to download the TrackIR software from their website. So um, just type TrackIR5 download, then download the latest version of the software. Um, then you are going to download it. And once you have gone through the download process, you should um, yeah, you should get an icon like this on your desktop. Okay, TrackIR V5. So you're gonna double click on it. Um, just open it here. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay. Um, so, um, first when you open it, you will have a default profile. I have created my own profile. So basically, to change your profile, you just open the default profile. And you just play with these, um, buttons. Wait, let me just wear the track IR here. I'm just centered by pressing F12. Okay, so let's say that if I turn my head to the right, I get to more than um, I get more than 180 degrees. So if I want less, I'll basically select your, and you see when it's turning here. If I want less, like right now it's 100 degrees. So if I want less, I'll just put this down, and you see it's going to 50 degrees. If I want more, I'll just put it up, and you see it's going more. Okay, so you can play with all the, of these settings here. So your pitch roll, X, Y, Z. Um, okay, so once you have done this, you're going to save it. But for you, um, this save button will be gray, so you won't be able to save. So basically, you're going to press cross here. Yeah, and it's going to tell you something like, um, do you want to create a new profile? You're going to press yes. I call this profile test. So you're going to call it whatever you want. And then you're going to save it, you're going to press yes. Okay, so then it's going to close. Then you're going to open it again. Okay, and you should be granted again with your default profile. So what you do is basically just go down to your, to whatever you call your profile. I call it test. And you're going to press on the exclusive button. This means that um, whenever, um, how do you call it? Um, whenever you open the track on your application, it will always start with the, um, with the test profile that you created. So you, here you choose either the track clip or the track clip pro, I'm using the track clip. Here you have the motion control, so speed is basically the speed at which you move your head. Okay. Um, then smoothness, I put the smoothness to full because, um, basically gives you smooth transitions. Okay. Um, here, up here, if you, if you, like, let's say, um, if you want to play a American truck, first time you want to, um, first time you want to use track area to play American truck simulator, you're going to have to come here, check for game updates, and it will update the game list here in the titles, and here you should see American truck simulator. So that wasn't working for me earlier, so I just updated the game list, and then it started working. Um, then the other settings here, um, nothing much, you just check for software updates all this. Um, run on system startup, you can choose that, so basically when you start your PC, the tracker application will run, so yeah, you can do that. Um, so basically, when you have already played with all of your settings and you're happy with the um, transition that you have, the... the um, the smoothness, the speed, and the transition. Um, you can basically um, minimize the track at your application. You cannot close it, because if you close it, it will not work in game. So once you've updated the game list and you have done with your um, with changing your settings, you can minimize it up here. Okay, then you can run your game. So I like playing American Truck Simulator, the track at your. So 
I'll just show it really quick. I'm sorry that I'm recording this on my phone because I'm having loads, loads of problems recording on my PC. That is why I haven't been doing lots of videos. So, um, yeah, that's why. Okay, so once um, you run your game, this green button should be available and this one should be available. So the first one is basically to tell you that they are recognizing the track IR and the second one is to tell you that they are recognizing the actual game. Okay, so I am currently doing a job. Let me just see. So you will see that after you do this, it will work perfectly. So right now I'm moving my head up and down. Um, let me show you. Okay. So it's just moving perfectly well. Okay, so I can lean forward. And lean forward. I can turn my head. Turns. Okay, so it works perfectly well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what there is to it. So you just open it, install the track IR on the USB, put the track clip on your on your cap, just like that, and uh, just run through what I told you to do in the application, and then just check for the game updates and um, basically launch your game. And if there is this green LED on. Um, it basically means that it's working and that you have successfully configured the track IR. Okay, there you go, once again, moving my cap. Moving forward. It's not recognizing it right now. Okay, so you get it guys. Um, so yeah, this is basically what you do to configure track IR. Um, so yeah, this is my small setup. <laughs> I've got a really bad monitor. I need to change it really soon. Um, so yeah, this is basically how you configure Truck IR and how to make it work in American Truck Simulator. Okay, and again, if you enjoyed it, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. See you, and thanks for watching.